All right, so basically we are going to be learning two functions. One is going to be an append and one is going to be a merge. So I'll tell you what we're going to do with the append first. So if you open the merge and append Excel files first, uh, and I will just show you, just open the merge and append Excel file both. Just a second, I just want to see my table names over here. So first of all, you understood that every table has to be named. So whether it's named or not for all the practice files that we are going to be using throughout. So this is how we are going to be working. Now you're getting a hang of it. There's going to be a practice file. There's going to be a solution file. Practice file is what you're supposed to be using with me. You have to observe the class. You have to be with me. It, you have to be a little more, uh, you know, attentive because you have to listen to what I'm saying. You have to follow my screen and you have to follow your screen also. So it's going to be more, uh, uh, you know, more focused. Uh, you'll have to be a little more focused. And there'll be a question file, there'll be a solution file. There are some places where a solution may not be possible because there's an output. I cannot show you all the processes or all the formulas. That'll depend from function to function. But you're supposed to be working with the question file with me and once uh, and you'll get the output automatically. And there are places where, you know, a solution is available. So if you want to check your file or something, you can compare with your solution. There could be a little bit of discrepancy because, you know, I might have named a table something else when I was creating the solution file. And when I'm doing the class right now, the solution, the table names might be a little different. So be a little OK with those those things. Anyways, so we are starting with the append file. So there's a merge and append file I have given to you. Now, if you notice in the append sheet, in the append sheet, I'll come to the merge in the second part. When you're looking at the append sheet, I have basically two tables provided over here, right? There are two tables provided over here. Now, if you notice, the month is given over here. For that particular month, there is a category beverages. I think most all the data is beverages, condiments is there. There are other categories also, seafood, etc. So there's a lot of data over here. There's around 800 plus lines of data. Now, in each of the category, there are certain products. Now, each of those products, actual sales is given. And the budgeted sales amount is given. They could be in lakhs or crores or whatever. We're not bothering about it. But what is your actual sales and what is your budgeted sales? Now, these two are coming in from two different departments, let's say. Now, these two tables need to be combined together because I want to understand for each of the product, what is the, what is the budgeted sale and what is the actual sale? And then I can do the analysis of the differences and all. Visualization, again, we are going to learn after a while. So first of all, we need to learn. In the append part, we need to learn how to combine one uh, combine two tables into one table. I know you can do it using joint pivot tables and all in your Excel, but you need to learn in Power BI first for us to get into the visualization part. Now, how do we go about it? So first of all, you know, I can just click on the design tool and just name the tables. So I'll name it actual sales. Sorry, I cannot have a space, actual underscore sales. So you guys also do this. There's an easy portion. You can do it with me. Make sure that the tables are named are in a table form and they are converted actual underscore sales budgeted I think I made a mistake yeah budgeted underscore sales so actual sales and budgeted sales and I'm going to save my merge and append file like that so you also make sure that you can rename it whatever you want and save it that way then I'm going to again open my power bi I I should have kept this open, I guess. It's there. Once you're in the Power BI, you again need to get to the get data part first. You will go to the Excel and I'm going to be choosing in the merge and append file. You can browse that. Once you browse that, you will get the dialog box where you can choose Am I, why did the name not get changed? I'll just look into that why the table names are not reflecting over here. But let me just take the table one and two over here. I had renamed the table. I think I did not save it or did I? This was actual sales. This was budgeted sales control S. Let me try it again or maybe it's, you know, I've already worked with the file. One second, I'll definitely be able to. Yeah, I changed it in a wrong folder. Wait, I have multiple versions of the same file, so hence the issue. All right, one second, one second, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, don't worry. Yeah, 
just a second guys please i have actually got multiple versions of the same files elsewhere so hence the issue merge and append merge and append in the merge and append file i think it was not even a table it was a table design tab actual underscore sales sorry it's better even if it takes a couple of minutes extra it's better do it correctly in the first go budgeted underscore you cannot have space sales and save the file name is merge and append i'm going to go to get data get the excel file the file name is merge and append and you would see i would get actual sales and budgeted sales make sure that the checkbox is ticked and both the tables you're able to load over here so do this i'll give you a couple of minutes try this first See if you've just uploaded both the data, you just need to load both the tables. You've done this much. The rest of the part I'll repeat it, but this was simple now. I think you should get a hang of getting the data in the system. Now, if you go to the visualization, of course, we've not done anything yet. But if you go to the data, you have two tables over here, if you notice. So if you click on the arrow up or arrow down, you can check that all the categories are being shown over here. And you have another budgeted sale, so you can switch between the two tables in the table part so this is a visualization this is a table this is your model that is your relationships and all where you build up now over here again what we're going to do is we always start with the edit queries portion so we go to the edit queries once we are in the edit queries in the home tab itself if you notice in the edit queries it's a new window and you have your actual sales and budgeted sales over here now just remember that i'm clicking on actual sales right now observe i'll repeat this part again for you to i'll repeat this part for you to uh, do it so don't do it right now just observe right now now in the append queries drop down you have a pen query a pen query is new i would go for a pen query is new so as to create a new table about it instead of replacing the existing table so in the if you click on a pen queries please don't do that it will do directly a pen queries but if i use a drop down and go for a new one i need to do an append query as new now there are two tables or three day three or more tables so i'm trying to combine tables append tables together right i'm trying to put two tables together over here the primary tables can be absolutely anything it doesn't matter so you can i have actual table and since actual table is selected over here so i'm getting the actual sales over here and append table to append to the primary table is budgeted sales obviously this is your table this is a primary table the first table that was selected are you understanding you could have started with the budgeted sales as a primary table also it wouldn't matter so don't worry about it but of course if your primary table is actual sales your table to append is budgeted sales if your primary table would have been up budgeted sales then the table to append so there is an actual sales table to append to actual sales which table to append to this so which table do we want to append to it that is your budgeted sales table and we click okay so there is an append one that has been created now in the append one what we need to do is we need to go to transform and we need to do group by now why do we need to do that let me show that first to you so if you see you have the month you have the category you have the product you have actual sales and your budget is coming as null null and null because right now you've not established the grouping how it is to be done i'll show you how you know it takes a little time to get very used to it group by in the group by of course i'll go for advanced i need the month category product exactly as the same so month add category add product month category and product exactly as the same i will add this one also the actual sales over here also niche aayega 
Okay, actual sales is not one second. New column name would be actual. I'll tell you how it is working. The summation of the actual sales column and add aggregation. The budgeted sales column. So basically what's going to happen over here is the month the category and the product the month the category and the product they will be grouped together within this the actual sales and budget i'm just doing it sum over here but obviously i don't expect the same product of the same category to turn up twice for actual sales or twice for budgeted sales for a chai within or a tea within our beverages i i cannot have two actual sales or a two budgeted sales but just in case there is any Actual sales has come in two parts and we want to sum it up together. So I'm doing it this way. So now once I do this and click OK, you would see your budgeted sales and your actual sales are coming against it. And you've appended the actual and budgeted sales table into one. Just to cross check, I'll repeat this process, don't worry, and I'll explain it again. Just to cross check the actual sales of let's say black tea is 2720. Black tea is 2584 is the budgeted. Black tea is 2720, 2584. Yes, I'm getting the actual correct output so my budgeted sales was 2500 but i was able to achieve a higher actual sales when i'm looking at black tea but when you're looking at normal chai it was an under you've sold under your 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 sale has been relatively lower as compared to the budgeted sales tell me are you guys understanding this much so what we've done is so i'll just repeat this one again so you uploaded the data i'm not repeating that part you've uploaded both the tables from the data source the data source was a file name merge and append now, once we go to this one, Power Query, we go to Edit Query because whatever functions you want to do, you need to do it in Edit Queries. Once you do that, you already had these two tables here because this was the table we had loaded. Now, how do we move forward? Now, what we do is we needed to go to the Home tab, Append Queries and Append Query as new. You do that much? And in initially my actual sales were selected i go to append queries which is in the home tab and you cl please click on the uh, arrow uh, for append queries the drop down for append queries and click on append queries as new once you do that the primary table is showing as actual sales because you were there we don't need three or more tables we need only two tables we are trying to connect two tables right so we'll choose the option two tables in that the primary table is actual sales and the table to append which table do you want to add to it budgeted sales see i've already done append one now so i have three tables over here therefore they are showing me two options you have not yet appended i'm assuming so you have only actual sales to be appended with budgeted sales do this much and click ok the moment you do this you will have an append one kind of a table created over here have you done this are you till here are you with me till here you got this much, but you would be observing that your budgeted sales column is showing you all null, null, null values because you have not yet grouped together. You've not yet established a relationship as to how this table of actual sales is connected to the table of budgeted sales. That is why it is showing null, null, null value. So I need to connect the budgeted sa actual sales table with the budgeted sales over here. Getting this? How do we achieve that? We need to go to the grouping option, which is in the transform tab. We've done grouping earlier. Are you seeing how we are going to be moving stepwise ahead? So you've done grouping earlier. So in the transform tab, you have the group by option. In the group by, we'll go to advanced. In the advanced, you can have the month category product column. So in the advanced month, add category, add product. Let me try it with, uh, let, let me, I'll not do that right now. You have actual sales column. Here you can have spaces. These are the columns name you're adding. The row is going to be summation and which column you want. Sorry. I want summation and which column do I want? I want the actual sales and you need to add aggregation because we want two columns with the calculation part. This is going to be known as budgeted sales and that is going to be again summation of which column of the budgeted sales column and you click on OK and you'll have an append one ready.
with the exact same table with both the actual sales and budgeted sales combined into one single table. See if you guys are okay till here. So what did we do? We loaded the data, both the tables. So there were two different tables which I want to combine. I uploaded that into one particular Power BI. So you go to load uh, what add data. Now uh, you go to get data, sorry, Excel and you upload the two tables. Once that is done, you go to edit queries. You go to edit queries. Once you're in the edit queries, what you do is you first of all go to append queries. Append query is new and in that you try to join the two tables. So there is a primary table which was selected earlier. So with the actual sales, you append the uh, budgeted sales. Once you're done that, you just need to transform the data by grouping the categories. In the advanced tab, you have the different column headings and for actual and budgeted, budgeted that is in the aggregation part. That is all you've done. Not that difficult. Now if you have to do it, you'll take hardly half a minute to do it. Once you've done it a couple of times, once you've practiced a couple of times, it's going to take you half a minute. So don't get irritated that I'm doing something so simple in so much time. It's just about a little bit of practice once you've done it a couple of times. Comfortable till here? Everybody?